Da -da -da. The next episode, here we go. Don't get too excited. My old shipping container's had a hard, it's had a hard life. It's a bit like me. It's a slightly bit worn out. But anyway, it's a beekeeper's paradise in there. We actually put our little nukes there last night because the bloody weather went to crap. And so we're gonna do last night's job this morning. So here we go. <laughs> You'd think a bloke would tidy up a bit, wouldn't you? Cool. Anyway, so today we're going to have a crack at making a few other splits, a different sort of splitting method. We're going to um, get some frames of brood that have got some young eggs that can actually get turned into a queen. And we're going to pop them in this box with some nurse bees. And then hopefully in about oh, I don't know, a month or so it is. 28 days or something stupid. I usually go for a month, but anyway, it doesn't matter. So I should, I should have read the book, shouldn't I, before I make that announcement. But anyway, pop them in here, they make a new queen, then they make a new home, and then you rip them out of this box and put them in a big box, and then away you go, and you've got another colony. And also you get to check the, we got to check the brood in these couple of boxes anyway, because I've done most of them, except for these few, so we'll make sure there's no, if there's a swarm cell in there already, well, that'll be fun. We won't have to stuff around and wait. All the excitement, I hope we left the bloody queen cage in here. Otherwise, <laughs> Anyway, here's our little queen catcher. This is a cool little um, single handedly one, so you can actually put them on the frame and go, whip, oh, come on. <laughs> like that, and then she's in there, and then we can do the separating bit and we can drop her back in again. After all my grand plans of having bee stands and not having to bloody kneel down or bend over. Well here I am in spring and the way the weather's gone and it's a bit ordinary so um, I've decided the ladies need a little bit of paradise so they've come into the fruit block here to have some citrus blossom which is a beautiful honey by the way which so in another month or two you might be able to grab some of that off the website but anyway so I'm here on my knees doing a bit of requeening so you can see what go well queen splitting I'm actually just doing a bit of rust split so I'm not actually queen rearing but I'm going to let the girls rare a queen in theory if we can find the bloody queen in this box but stay tuned <laughs> here we go what is it the, <laughs> the great reveal we'll see how the girls are getting on oh they're having a little bit of fun up here we took the queen excluder out and set it on the top so i'm thinking i'm going to have a bit of a radical plan because i was reading a bit of the european beekeepers and they have a double brood box so i'm going to have a few with a double brood box just for the entertainment so, of course that creates a few other issues, but saves some issues too. So, we'll see how much brood's up the top, and we'll go from there. Oh, here we go. Look at that for some lovely honey. You girls have been very busy. And you can see they've got the nectar there. Now, oh, that's starting to harden up though, that's good. Beautiful, it won't be long. Now we're just checking to see, because we've got no queen excluder, we're just going to check these top frames to see that there's no brood. And especially no Her Majesty, because that would really suck, wouldn't it? <laughs> and here's a bit of brood going on. Hmm, well, now how are we going to know if she's there or not? <laughs> because hopefully we'll see her. I can't see her there, so we'll go on to the next frame. Oh, this is a fun part about gloves. You always get stuck under the jolly frame when you're popping it back. <laughs> hello, 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 ladies. Where's your, where's your boss? What's she up to? Is she out at, she's probably out at a bloody executive meeting, isn't she? Yeah, checking out the bloomin' neighbourhood. Although I don't think she can check out the neighbourhood because she can't get out the box. But all the bees come back and tell her what's going on outside, so that's pretty bloody clever, isn't it? So all the ladies bring back all the information to the queen, and then, then she decides how many um, eggs to lay, and how much nectar's flowing, and how much pollen's available. And so she regulates the hive by what the other ladies tell her, which is pretty cool, isn't it? I wonder if that makes them 
like a, a, dem a democracy. Like, it's a democracy with a queen, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. I think it's a little bit more like a monarchy, isn't it, Dad? Yeah, well, I guess a monarchy. I guess, uh, I suppose she, well, that's why she's called the queen. So, <laughs> I wonder if they've got their own little song that they sing to her. You know, we've got God bless the queen. Maybe it's, you know. God save the queen. Oh, sorry, God save the queen. Maybe these guys have got God, no, God, <laughs> yeah. Maybe these guys have got neck to bless the queen. Mm, well, I can't see her. That doesn't necessarily mean anything because I'm pretty bloody crap at this. Although she's a proper bee, so she's a nice big one by now. Okay, this is the disadvantages of having a double super, because you're not 100 percent sure which box she's in. But you can see how cool it is, like so I've come up here and this is basically they've bred in the middle, so they've made their own circle. Like you can imagine, you can imagine in the dark, there's a circle of bees on every frame, and that's how they breed in the wild. And so that's the theory of having a bit more room for them, so then they can store a bit more honey. But hell, I don't know. There's so many different options. Anyway, oh well, there you go. That's a bit interesting, isn't it? First frame. A little bit of drone comb going on in here, so hopefully they haven't got too psycho. Might save us a job if there's already a queen cell in here. Mm. Oh, there she is, there she is. There she was, who the fuck did it go? <laughs> oh, you blind old bastard. Fuck. No. Oh, there There's one exciting side part of the project. We've got the lady in there, so we've got her sorted out. We've got, now the next thing we've got to do is pop her up there for a minute. We want to find some young brood, well, young eggs. This is actually a really nice comb of brood anyway. So we might pop that in our box. Because that's a bloody, that'll be nice to make some girls anyway. We might grab that one. That's not what we want though, because this is all capped brood. So these little ladies are gonna hatch out fairly soon. So that's pretty cool. But they won't be able to make a queen out of that because these have already decided what they're gonna be. So maybe there might be an egg or two in there, but I doubt they're very much that that's, that's not really what you want for making a queen. But that's all right for making new babies. If you're looking for it, in here, she's laid some new eggs, some new larvae, and those ones they can turn into a queen so if you look through here you can see there's just little eggs and a little bit of honey i mean a little bit of um, royal jelly so they'll actually be able to make a queen out of those eggs oh that's the plan that's what you're looking for when you're doing a split no good this capped stuff that's not going to turn into nothing other than new bees which is all good you need new bees too but that's not the plan that we're working on at the minute <laughs> Nice cat stuff, cat brood there, and we got some nice eggs. Some nice more cat brood this side on the top bit. A couple of young larvae, a couple of young eggs amongst it. In theory, they should be able to have a crack at making a queen out of either of those two frames we popped in there, which is good. And we'll give them, give them this extra frame. Actually, Ah, oh, fuck it. We might actually steal a bit of honey from these girls. <laughs> and then they can have a little bit of honey as well. These ladies are doing pretty well. And they're not going to get quite so excited. <laughs> so we'll just give these guys a little bit of food as well in our box. Right. Now, the next exciting part is we're going to shake some bees off of these frames into this box. And what's going to happen, we're going to put the box over there and the field bees that are in here because it's not warm enough just yet are all going to fly off and then come back here but the nurse bees hopefully are going to stay in this box well they should stay in this box because they want to look after their brood and that's why you've got to catch the queen first of all 
because otherwise you shake the queen in the box and then you've sort of made this bloody thing, made your proper box um, less productive. So the idea is to just take a little bit extra off, get the queen you want, get the, get the girls you want in here, so then they can raise a new queen and these guys can just go on about their business making your honey. So we're just going to get a frame and we're just going to shake the bees on top of here. Some will run in, some will bugger off and anyway, might make for some interesting footage. So anyway, we'll pop her back in her home yep. and she can run around in her little home and say to her ladies, what the bloody hell happened here? Look at my bedroom. Pick up my clothes. Make the place respectable. And go out there and sting one of them bloody white polar bears. That'd be a good idea, mongrels. Anyway, she's all happy. We'll pop her back in. Here she comes. Oh, go in your wife. Yep, there she is and she's off. And she's back home. She's a little bit confused, I think. Anyway, so then we've just put everything back together. Um, so we've put all the frames back in, we've made everything, we put the new frames that we had to fill up the box, and then we'll just put it all back together very nicely and leave them to their business. And then we'll put this little new box over there, and then hopefully they'll work out what they're doing. So then they can figure out a new place to be. I reckon over here in the, their own row. <laughs> So now the nurse bees will stay in there and look after everybody. They've got a little bit of honey and I'm sure some will go out another day or two and go and get a drink and get organized. And then in about a month's time, we'll have a new split. So that'll be good. And then you just go on and on and on and the day's burnt. But anyway, we'll do another one just for the hell of it. Anyway, so here's our little queen raising nukes. So these are the four, we've taken these four off of some really lovely hives we've got over here. So if we're lucky, we'll get a few queen cells. We'll obviously leave one in here and then we're gonna cut some queen cells out and pop them into some of the psychopathic bees we've got over there. And then we can spread these genetics. So that's the idea. So if you've got a box in your yard that's a beautiful producing, she's laying a good pattern, they're picking up some nice nectar and making you some nice honey and they don't bite you, that's a bloody good option. You know, you can rear a queen like this. And if you haven't got nice bees, just order a queen and he'll show you that next week. <laughs> <laughs>